Hey guys, it's Shweb Khan. It's 16th of August and I hope you'll be doing great. Uh, today, we're going to have a look on the leverage, the risk management and the position size in each trade, especially when we are uh, doing the futures and, you know, we are trading in uh, whenever we are trading in the future. So I promised you guys that I'm going to do this uh, in an English version. So here it is. So let's see if we can make any sense of it, out of it. So, uh, all right. So first we're going to have a look on how the leverage works. There's a misconception uh, around here that uh, leverage can pull your liquidity uh, really close or really far. So you have to see what's uh, your leverage is before you starting your position. So I'm just going to debunk it uh, right now and we're going to have a look how it how it's going to work and how it impacts on your uh, basically trading and your risk of the trade. So the leverage is derived from the word lever, which means to support your uh, like the thing that you're interested in so when we are talking in this context uh, the leverage in trading that means uh, the multiplying factor of your money if you are going to trade your uh, favorite currency asset or whatever so uh, let's say you you want to trade bdc which is currently trading at $25000 and you only have like uh, let's say thousand dollars. All right. So you ask uh, the exchange that, all right, I just want to uh, lever it. So for that, you go for the leverage of 25. You increase your position size to one. Uh, I'm going to get back to this position size. This is really important. So let's understand the leverage first. Uh, basically, you have the money of $1,000 you set your leverage to 25. So what you are doing is that you're borrowing uh, the 24,000 uh, from the exchange and then you start trading the BTC. So the total trading amount becomes $25,000. 1,000 is yours and the exchange that the money that you levered is $24,000. So uh, it start of it, uh, you started with the trading at $25,000. So what happens is that if the position size is one BTC, your liquidity is just $1,000 away from your initial price. If you are longing, if you are uh, leveraging towards a positive size or longing your trade, that means whenever the price comes to the $24,000, you are liquidated or your account's blown off. Why is that? Because the exchange says, all right, I'm going to just tolerate the loss as far as your money is concerned. But whenever it comes to my money, I'm going to pull out and I'm going to close this trade. So that means that you're going to be liquidated in that scenario. So uh, this is how the leverage works. It just levering you and just giving you the opportunity to lever uh, the position and uh, lever the size of your trade. All right. Now, the important thing is that which people, most of the people just uh, disregard in this case is the position size. Now, your liquidity is depend on the position size, regardless what your leverage is. Let's say your leverage is 125 and your money is still $1,000. Your exchange money, exchange just gave you the $124,000. The total trading amount is 125, but you are still trading one BTC. That means your liquidity remains the same, regardless your leverage is 10. In, in that scenario, you, you can't even uh, trade the entire BTC because the total trading amount is $10,000 and you need $25,000 to make uh, one BTC tradable, all right? So uh, let's say, keep it by 125X and uh, $125,000 is your total trading account. The position size is what decides your uh, liquidity. So let's say instead, uh, let's go back to the same uh, leverage settings, twenty five at twenty five, and just a total trading amount is twenty five thousand dollars. But instead of position size one, you say the position size would be half BTC. Then your liquidity price, like literally pushes away, and it uh, currently sets at twenty three thousand dollars. That means when the price goes like. Uh, $2,000 below than your initial price, your opening price, your account will be liquidated. So instead of $24,000, now it's $23,000. What happening is if you're trading one BTC, that means if the BTC goes 
$100 plus, your PL would be $100. All right. If the position size is 2 BTC, that means if the BTC go $100 up, your PL would be $200. But your liquidity also comes up at $24,000, $24,500. Because this money, your money is divided by 2. This money is divided by the position size. So that's how the liquidity is determined. All right. So the position size matters regardless how much money do you have, whatever the amount you have. But if your position size is not managed, you will be prone to risk and you will be prone to very much, uh, you know, uh, liquidating your account and the risk of it. So that's how the position works. So uh, let's say now if you have uh, the $25,000, right, and your leverage is one, and now you're currently liquid, like literally, you know, uh, your position size is one BTC. Let now see your liquidity price would be zero. If your position size is two, your liquidity price is way nominal. It's just $12,500. So that's how it kind of works. And that's how the leverage uh, gives you the positive and the negatives of the trading. All right. So leverage is uh, just the scaling up of your trading amount, the position size is what, which determines where your liquidity be, all right? So you have to focus on your position size and do not ape in. Uh, moving forward, we're gonna have a discussion uh, over the risk management uh, about the portfolio and how much trade size per portfolio that you should use. So let's say if your total portfolio is $10,000, I believe that for the individual trades, for the intraday uh, trades, or even uh, for some, you know, uh, couple of days, like swing trades, which uh, follows up or, you know, uh, gets uh, in a momentum of trade should be at around like 2.5 or 5% like max all of it you know you don't have to overexpose yourself by uh putting more than five percent or six percent of your portfolio in an individual trade because uh if you have a portfolio of ten thousand dollars and if you are just using the 2.5 percent that means you're just risking the 250 dollars per trade and if your stop loss is two percent of this amount then even if it hits uh, then you'll be only losing the $5, which is literally nothing as compared to your portfolio size. So uh, risking, uh, the, the analyzing the risk to reward ratio is very much important. You should not go or ape in with your entire portfolios because it will gonna blow your account really, really quick. So if your position size is managed and you're, even if you go with the isolated trades and just uh, trade your, uh, you know, your trade size per portfolio, just 2.5%, it's it's going to be really good for you, even if you're in uh, towards in uh, for the swing trades, you know. So uh, I'm just going to give you the quick, uh, just uh, update on the position size and the price of an asset. Uh, it's just a factor that you calculate for your trading fees, like if you're trading the BTC in the BTC, and let's say the price is at $25,000, and this factor is uh, important, it's 0.045%. Uh, so you multiply all of it, your funding fees would be $11.25. That means uh, when you're opening your position, your uh, fees is deducted at this price and at this position size would be zero point eleven point two five dollars and when you close it again it deducts the same uh, apart from that like if if you close at the same uh, price but if you go ahead and do this uh, just giving you the insight uh, all right that's uh, one and let's say you close it at around 27,500. So uh, your total would be uh, $23.63 in fees, not 22.5. It, it just happens if you close it on break even. So that's what happened in uh, the fees. So that's known as the funding factor. Uh, and this is your funding fees. So 0.045% uh, multiplied by the price of an asset, multiplied by the position size would be your uh, key for calculating the fees. So uh, that's a quick uh, short video about the position size, the leverage and the risk management. If you have any queries, do 
feel free to ask me in my group or on YouTube. Thank you so much. Take care about you.